question about whether or not Mr. Putin is alive, I think, is answered by this video, which was uh, taken on the 25th of January. That's uh, Tatiana's day. Uh, it's a day when uh, Russian students gather to um, celebrate being in a Russian university. And Mr. Putin was taking carefully planted questions. Uh, a lot of it is unbelievably vacuous. Um, for example, there's a question coming up uh, where uh, a girl asks Mr. Putin about taking professional holidays. I don't know quite what a professional holiday is. Putin takes it for granted uh, that, um, that this is a thoroughly understandable concept and says that he would contact the minister. Um, there, there, there's an extraordinary um, exchange where uh, one of the students asks about the system of navigation in Moscow. Um, I, I don't know quite what she's talking about. Is she talking about walking down the street or is she talking about trying to avoid stray missiles from the Kremlin? Um, but anyway, she's, she, talks about, she, she talks about relaxing. Um, there's not enough space for relaxing. And um, students are going to propose uh, some sort of... Um, uh, student uh, um, pass, so uh, they're, uh, to, um, to to discuss projects about getting around the city with ease, primed and programmed topics, as we know from Putin. Uh, so uh, at the moment he's speaking in um, uh, MGU, which is the Moscow State University. I, I didn't actually teach in the Moscow State University for very long. I was supposed to do a whole series on. Um, liturgical conventions, but I didn't in the end uh, do it. Um, and uh, anyway, Putin goes on about having great walks. And um, uh, and, and, and nowadays, he says, uh, the youth day is the 27th of June, so there'll be lots of opportunity to take walks and take exams. Meaningless drivel um, and vacuity. Um, and then there's this very interesting scene where there's an interview with a student who participated in the war in Ukraine. How old is he? 22 or 23? Um, Vladislav, his name is. And uh, he was fully participating, he says, in freeing the, in liberating the Luhansk Republic. He was decorated with a Medal of Honor. Um, and he's looking forward to pursuing a, his dream of working in the FSB. Uh, just like Mr. Putin. He likes to thank Mr. Putin. Um, and Mr. Putin makes a little joke and says, uh, um, I thought you wanted to teach in the FSB Academy, and everybody giggles. No, I, I want to be working. I want to slave for my country. He says um, he would like to thank Mr. Putin for demobilizing uh, Russian students and allowing Russian students to return from the front to continue their work as students. And, 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 and there's a lot of talk about how much Mr. Putin has done for returning soldiers in various projects around Moscow and around Russia. Uh, so justifying the war and confirming how good Russia is to its um, soldiers when they return from fighting. Uh, it, it, it is the most extraordinary extraordinarily staged uh, piece of um, Putin-esque <coughs> propaganda and his stance. I mean, I don't think he could possibly stand with his legs any further apart. But there we are. This is Mr. Putin. And it looks, it, you know, this is typical Putin performance. It looks as if he is alive. Um, barely, anyway. But uh, he does seem to be functioning.